Good morning, people. Welcome back to the channel. Or if it's evening, good evening to you. Or if you're having a poop, I hope you're having a good poop too. This video is sponsored by nobody, only you guys, because you guys are the best. Right? Actually, I appreciate all the feedback on the last video and all the new subscribers. You should see my analytics. It's like, boop. You guys are like, mm, I want to see more of this. So let's do it. Today, we have some two inch aluminum piping. We're gonna cut this all up, five cuts, hopefully join it together. Make all four come out this side. There's that. We got four of these thingies. Pretty self-explanatory there, right? Um, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna weld four V bands on here, trying to find this three bolt flange is next to impossible in a short amount of time. So we'll just weld some V bands on here because we have those. And this is what we're gonna be using to feed all four turbos with oil. This is just an air manifold for like uh, airlines in your garage. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna plug off two of them. We'll run four, we'll plug off the ends or maybe the back. And this'll sit somewhere, I don't even know a good spot, maybe like here or something. We'll make a bracket, put it there and our four lines will just come out of this. Like one line will come into the end, four lines up to the top or up front here somewhere. Somewhere where like it's gonna be away from the heat. I do know that this clear hose, it'll probably melt under extreme heat. It is the thicker soda hose stuff. And we used to use it years ago on turbo returns, like back in, when was I 16? 2006, like that. That's when we used to use that stuff and it worked okay. But uh, I should order some like, wow, that was weird. But I should order some like push lock style ho hose stuff for that. Um, is that it in this box? No. We got 10 straight AN fittings. I didn't want to do that, but we had to do it. So that's all dash four AN fittings. We're gonna pull this out and have easier access. This will be our main tool today, I would assume. I was cutting steel last time. And since we don't have any actual bends and we're just gonna be pie cutting stuff, it's gonna be a lot of cuts and a lot of welds. In our boosted lifestyle, we like to weld our pipes, not duct tape them together with hose clamps. That doesn't even make sense, but if you watch the video, you'd understand what I said right there. I guess I kind of didn't really think about that one, but it looks like a male thingamajigger, I guess. That is gonna join from here to here and then send a pipe that way. And then we gotta do the same for this one. And then we'll just end up with two pipes and we gotta merge those somehow as well. I haven't really thought ahead that far on it. Also, you'll see with this piece, I didn't prep it very well, and it looks like bird turd, and I'm not really happy with that. Um, like these welds came out a lot better. And there's no excuse for my like, just trying to rush it and get it done. I just kind of messed that one up. So we'll probably salvage this, but uh, yeah, it looks like, like poop. It's still kind of warm, but it'll give you a good idea of what we got going on, I guess. If this one will fit in there. I might redo this one after, and this will fit something like this. I'm just gonna go ahead and bead roll this end because I know this is the end that I, I know where I want it. Um, I just use these pliers here, 
Um, someone had the part number for them in a previous video, but you just keep walking around with this and it makes a nice little bead roll. Looks legit, right? We're getting pretty good at this fabrication stuff, I think. Besides that one elbow, that's stupid. So we got to this point now. I think I'm just gonna bead roll these and put a coupler here as well, because this one's almost next to impossible. Like if we, I can cut this here and make a piece and join this up with two welds, but I won't be able to fit this in um, unless I take the radiator out, I think. And I don't know how hard. I'm just gonna see how hard it is to move the radiator out of the way, because if it's not that hard, I'll weld it up, but if it is, I probably won't. If it only takes two seconds to like drop the radiator forward, then sure, but. Why does that always happen to me? So we can move it, but if this is in place, can we get it back into place? I lost the two rubber isolator bushing, but that's okay. I can put those on after. Okay, I guess we're welding this up. There we go. This should be our transition pipe to join the two into the one. You can see it'll pull, it'll still flow pretty decently. I think the plan is after is to join these up to two two inch pipes as well and then um, join two two inches to two and a half and we'll go two and a half in the inside of the intercooler and then three inch out of the intercooler so let's just see if this uh fits on there now yeah we might have to take the radiator down get this to fit in there oh maybe not I mean, it fits, it's hot still though. Pipe number one. Comes out down here somewhere. Um, that'll obviously get cut off wherever these two decide to join to that one. So we'll have to do like another Y like this down here and another Y up here. So we got two more Ys to build actually. Isn't that much better than plumbing pipe and duct tape and hose clamps? If they can make three pounds of boost, we can make 12. My regulator must be really messed up. I just finished welding this 90. Um, that's gotta cool down, it's really hot. I've welded all of this. And it's showing zero here, but we're still getting our uh, CFH. So maybe I should get a new one of these, probably cheap. Probably busted it. I do have a flow meter down there somewhere for back purging. Maybe I should use that instead. So I just started tacking things together because I was sure we were gonna run out of argon. And sure enough, we're down to like eight CFH, so that bottle's empty. But that was our last tack weld. This should, fit in place. Probably shouldn't grab it where I just welded it because that's hot. Perfect. This coupler needs to be longer. It's not long enough, but that's essentially it. So at least we have four and a two now and they're both going to end up somewhere around here. I can cut that at a different angle to kind of join these two pipes up and then right here somewhere um, I plan to put a two and a half so we'll have to merge two of these into a two and a half but yeah it looks awesome I think my welding skills and my fabrication skills are getting a little bit a little, little, little bit better which is good because uh, we can always take that on to the next project this doesn't have to be perfect it's just joining them up however as I say that I did redo this because I was like mmm that looks like shit, Kyle. You can do way better. Okay, it's Monday now. I'm gonna wait for Dan to show up. We're gonna fill up the argon bottle. I did decide we're gonna go V-band clamps here. 
So the turbos have to come off again so we can weld these on and then uh, it's just easier than trying to get this three bolt flange and even still this doesn't seal that well so we're just going to weld one end to that. E-band clamp it together, that'll be our exhaust. And thanks to Roger we did pick up this intercooler for like a hundred bucks. Which should be plenty, it's uh, two and a half inch in, two and a half inch out, it's like a three and a half inch core. Dan's getting mad now and the hood's coming off, I guess. Yeah. It's been driving me nuts. You're not gonna run a hood. Take the fucking thing off. But your hood wrap friends have let you down. Sorry. Yeah. I need more rod! Loves the rod. That's, what your That's all the aluminum says. I have left. Uh oh. Tony, you, you made it very even, right? It's very like uh you know, not all over the place. We, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when we use the the mic, the mic welder, <laughs> we do silicos, right? Yeah, I just did to this make it, to make it that way. Well. We joined two pieces of pipe. This is fucking good, man. Only one miss here, but oh, don't touch it though. Yeah, that's where I ended it. <laughs> <laughs> we did merge this up. This has to cool down now. That's uh, two two inch pipes into a two and a half inch pipe. I had to crush it a little bit. We did get lucky. We managed to find some of these fittings locally. So they fit our oil feeds here. Stop laughing. Oh, oh, it's no. good. Oh, oh. No. <laughs> Just, I can't believe. You make nice. the 90s as well. Nice. Wait. So we've got Dan over here taking the turbos off. Whatever I um, this was a dick. Yeah, I, I didn't warn you. We got this one off. And now we have the housing over here. I'm gonna get started on welding these to the back. Got some 309 and uh, we'll preheat this up and we'll weld this on. And hopefully we can get something going here. Anyways, here's what we have uh, for our oil feed set up. There's a, a fitting in the back of the block here that's gonna come up to the back of the rail here. We're gonna use four in the front. This got a little hot because I welded this plate and we just drilled into this and that's our manifold. Actually, this is getting hot now. And then uh, waiting for the turbos to cool down to bolt those back up. And then, yeah, we'll have oil to it, which is good. So we uh, realized that the V-band on this one sits too low and you can't actually put the clamp on it. Hit the floor. It hit the floor, perfect. So uh, just this one has this issue. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna weld the pipe to this and say screw it. So uh, this one's not gonna have a V-band. It's gonna be kind of ghetto, but this is gonna be our only like pipe that doesn't come off. Okay, I mean, it's a little ghetto because we didn't use the V-band, but uh, I mean, at least it looks okay. That's uh, you used half here. the V-band. Used half the V-band. Not on purpose, though. Something like this.
Dan and I have been working hard here. Yeah. And uh, we got all our return lines back on. We're making our feed lines here. Whoa, one return line not on. It's on. It's just I tack welded some of these in place. Like these three ones are just tacked in place. They're not going to be perfectly straight across. None of the turbos are perfectly straight across. And this one we had to weld to the actual flange. So that was stupid. But you win some, you lose some. That gives you a good idea on how the exhaust is going to be routed here. We're going to put another extension piece like this one on these ones. We'll kind of make them the same height, I guess. I'll put a bar here. I'll just measure and well, at least make them the same height. I can cut that at an angle as well. <laughs> uh, we're working on our feed lines. So we have our one feed line coming from the back of the block into our little manifold here that's gonna split off into four. Realistically, I guess we'll only be running as much as this one feed line can uh, push out, which hopefully isn't everything that the oil pump has. <laughs> So we'll go ahead and make our uh, three other feed lines here and we can fire it up and see uh, just how, how it's going to work out. We can, uh, we can actually use our clear drain hoses to monitor how much oil each turbo is going to get. And it's probably a, a bonus there. I still got to steal some 2.5 inch aluminum piping from some people to finish our intercooler setup. So that'll probably be next video, but we'll get this fired up, see what it's like at idle and shit and uh, see but it's actually gonna be viable to run four turbos. The line's all on. It looks ghetto fabulous if you ask me. Um, they probably could use a little bit of work. Like lengthwise, this one needs a 90 degree fitting, so we just have it, it's actually touching that exhaust a little bit, but it's whatever really. But uh, we'll see if it starts now, and we'll see if we get oil. As long as Dan has all the fittings tight, I guess. Double checking. We'll put this up here. Yeah. There's that stupid fucking deep off. What? Because there's a security system in this thing. Oh. We need to delete that as soon as possible. Yes. that was pretty successful lots of oil through the hoses oh it's backing up in the hoses though you can see it look yep yeah it's not draining why is it i wonder if we're gonna have oil return issues like those bungs aren't big enough considering we weren't revving yet yeah aren't they they're half inch starving your engine for oil? <laughs> Maybe. Like are we, that one fitting, is it actually taking a... Enough oil? Should I, might, might take this fitting off and put a restrictor in it or something. Like weld it up and just drill a small hole in it. Cause that's a lot of oil for these turbos. 
Yeah, you can really tell whenever you look at how much there was in the... Yeah, it looked like it was leaking around that gasket, maybe. A little condensation or milk came down the back of the turbo and... Cool, though. I literally did not make an outro. What the hell happened there? Anyways, thanks you guys for watching. If you made it this far, thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, peace easy, and get that V.